Good morning, everybody. Another adventure for me going to Johnson Creek, Idaho for some airplane camping with a buddy of mine in his Satabria. So flying up to Goose Lake and then over to McCall and then wait till the late afternoon when the winds die down and then we'll be flying into Johnson Creek, which is only 30 miles away. So Johnson Creek's considered to be one of the top camping spots in the world for airplane camping. So this should be a lot of fun. Good morning, it's bright and early in beautiful McCall, Idaho. We're just getting ready to leave to fly into Johnson Creek. Had to stay overnight because the winds were too high to, for us to fly in uh, late in the afternoon yesterday. So got some cloud activity to the east where we're flying and uh, we have to climb to about 9,500 to get over some of these mountaintops before we jump into Johnson Creek. Anyway, should be a uh, fun flight, only uh, 30 minutes to get there.
Good morning, everybody. Well, here we are at Johnson Creek, Idaho. A nice, cool 38 degrees, and uh, it'll be a little while before we take off. We've got some frost on the wings, so got to let the airplane thaw out before we get off the ground. Anyway, uh, we're flying over to Big Creek and having some breakfast. It's about 25 miles away, and uh, should be a fun flight, uh, nice and short. And I understand it's a pretty nice runway. Yeah, Johnson Creek is unbelievable. Great spot. thousand three hundred feet uh, just leaving Big Creek heading back to Johnson Creek Airport truly spectacular area very intimidating hardly anywhere to land safely uh, except at these backcountry airports so gonna head back to uh, Johnson Creek and land before the winds pick up they normally pick up at a lot about 11 o'clock and you don't want to be flying around or trying to land uh, when those winds pick up. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is fun. Uh, definitely pushing my limits by coming up here, but uh, I've enjoyed it. Delta. See ya. Hi everybody, Friday night here in Johnson Creek, Idaho. 
Our last night will be leaving bright and early tomorrow morning, heading back to California where I can look forward to 107 degrees. And this has been an awesome uh, backcountry experience for me. My first one and uh, couldn't pick a better place. Johnson Creek is just amazing. And uh, looking forward to doing more once I convert my Kit Fox to a tail dragger. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna start packing up a little bit and get ready to head out uh, bright and early tomorrow morning. See you guys. Baking hot California. Left Johnson Creek, Idaho this morning at 40 degrees. Kind of chilly and uh, beautiful flying right now. My air nice and smooth. Beautiful views in all directions. And uh, yeah, heading towards uh, Boise area. And then after that, it's a lot of desert um, until we hit Northern California. So. Not looking forward to that part. We got bounced around pretty good, come up from California in the desert. Or my uh, friend Don in his Citabria. And uh, heading past Cascade and probably gonna land in Payette for some fuel. See ya. At 11,400 feet, the uh, clouds in the area are creating lots of turbulence, and uh, we're getting a lot of up to 400 feet from that this airplane service ceiling. Uh, the last couple of updrafts have been over a thousand feet a minute without even trying. And uh, right now I'm still climbing, I'm uh, almost at 12,000 feet. But it must be a downdraft because I see my buddy going down right now, so... Yeah, it's uh, been a fun ride over the Northern Sierras. Hang on! <laughs>